here. That was Little Joe and the Thrillers singing about my subject today, peanuts. Or actually, peanut flavor in meal replacement shakes. This started as a trial of BB2. BB2 is often mentioned on, as a flavoring on meal replacement forums, and I've been anxious to try it. At first, I thought I need a proper big baseline flavor, so I tried mixing shakes with real peanut butter. As always in my experiments, I use plain superfuel and plain soil, now soil at 1.9. I mix up a 400 calorie, 400 cc shake of each powder, and then I start adding flavorings uh, in small amounts. And then I blend it with a hand, blend with a hand blender, and take a sip and taste it. And it seem, if it seems to need more, I add and I blend again and sip again and so on until the flavor is definitely enough, or sometimes too much. When I did this with Skippy peanut butter, I had to add 70 grams of Skippy to a 400 cc shake to get a good level of flavor. Then both powders gave me a nice liquid peanut butter flavor. One big problem appeared when I worked out how many calories there are in 70 grams of Skippy. It's almost 380 calories, about 280 from fat. So my tasty 400 calorie shake had grown up to almost 800 calories. This is good news if you are one of the minority who use meal replacement shakes to gain weight. This really should work for you. For the rest of us, not so much. Also, the flavor of peanut butter is not is nice, but not that interesting. So I wondered what might improve it, and I got a brainstorm. I had some my protein strawberry flavored drops left from a prior video, and I added a few drops to the peanut butter shakes. O M G. It was delicious, exactly the flavor of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Can you remember when your mom made you a PBJ for your school lunch or after school snack? That flavor? That was exactly what I had. So now I was on a quest. First, to find a peanut flavoring that didn't add a ton of calories, and second, to find one that worked with strawberry flavor to make a PBJ. First up then, PB2. It's a light brown powder made by pressing peanuts to remove almost all of their oil and then grinding the residue. Online, I recently noted uh, someone saying they added 24 grams to a 400 cc shake. I had to add 36 grams to uh, soil at 1.9, a bit more than 10% by weight, to get what I considered a solid peanut flavor. But note, PB2 is 50 calories in 12 grams. So I was adding uh, 150 calories to get the flavor, which wasn't as good as Skippy, but wasn't bad. Unfortunately, adding the strawberry flavor did not get me what I would call that PBJ memory. Just kind of a brown, fruity flavor. That was in Soylent 1.9. PB2 mixed into the plain super fuel turned out rather unfortunate. I've commented before that plain superfuel is salty and it turns out that its electrolyte flavor does not like PB2. It's strange because you'll hear later that the saltiness does work well with some peanut flavors, but not with PB2. 
It was genuinely nasty. Next, I tried my protein peanut butter flavor. I have liked many of the my protein flavors before, but not this one. The problem is that the, these drops are strongly sweetened. Why wouldn't you sweeten peanut butter? Added to Soylent 1.9, which is already a little sweet, this just made a generic sweetness with an aftertaste of burnt nuts. In Superfuel, it was also too sweet and not at all nutty. Another product that didn't work well was Loran Oils Super Strength Peanut Butter. It's not sweetened, thank goodness. With Super Fuel, it was okay. It gave a flavor of salted peanuts, but there are better ones to come. With Soylent 1.9, there was a strange effect. The Loran flavoring just seemed to disappear. I added uh, three tenths of a gram, which was a strong flavor with Super Fuel, uh, and nothing. I kept adding and adding, presently got up to a, a gram and a half before there was any detectable flavor. And then it was only sort of tasted brown. Olive Nation peanut butter flavor was a bit better than the Loran oils, but it has quite a bit of alcohol as a carrier, and that seemed to add a chemical undertone. So, let's get to what works. It turns out that home brewers, people who brew beer at home, like to add flavorings. And there are several sites on the web that cater to flavor essences for brewers. So here is Brewer's Best Peanut Butter Flavor. The label, the label gives no ingredients. It just says use one ounce per gallon of beer. Peanut flavored beer. Well, chacun a son goût. Be sure to tell me in the comments if you have ever tasted peanut flavored beer or if you would ever want to. Anyway, this worked quite well in plain super fuel. Here the saltiness of the super fuel worked with the peanut flavor, not against it. At about 1% by weight, about 4 grams in a 400cc shake, it came out close to a liquid peanut butter flavor. I'll tell you the flavor exactly. Run out now to the nearest snack vending machine and buy a bag of salted peanuts. Pop about three of them in your mouth and chew them up. Just before you swallow, that's the flavor. When I added the strawberry flavor, it began to kind of resemble a PBJ, although not quite close enough to really trigger my nostalgia buds. The best of these was the Capella Peanut Flavoring V2. The instructions on the bottle say to use one drop per ounce. I ended up using about 50% more than that, roughly one and a half drops per ounce. So two and a half grams, about 20 drops in a 400 cc shake. That gave Superfuel a good peanut flavor. I would say better than PB2 and with zero added calories. When I added a half a gram, 14 drops of my protein strawberry, there it was, the PBJ flavor, almost as good as the real thing. In Soylent 1.9, the Capella needed more than twice the recommended amount, at least two drops per ounce, at least 35 drops in a 400 cc shake to get a peanut butter flavor. Something about Soylent 1.9 just sops up these flavor drops like a sponge and hides them. Anyway, with enough drops, it comes close to the PB2 flavor, again with zero calories. Sadly, adding the strawberry just got me a generic sweet fruit flavor, not quite the PBJ I was hoping for. Bottom line, for a good peanut flavor, use the Capella Peanut Version 2 drops. They're as good as PB2 powder and add no calories. Add a few drops of a sweetened fruit flavor 
to tickle your nostalgia buds with the flavor of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich.